Hey everybody, welcome back to the Kitsa Shout Out Adventures. Got a trip coming up. There's a maintenance on the 2017 Kia Soul Plus. I believe this is a 2.0. As far as I can, as far as I know, it's a 2.0. Anyways, got the oil. Gotta make sure I got everything loose here. Alright, so we're gonna go straight down here. Passenger side. You got your, you know, this hole, this one, and then you have this one, and then you've got, is your drain plug I already, 17 millimeter, pop to three. Reach in here, try and not get too covered in oil. There we go. And then, well, that's draining. So, you have your primary hole here. Then you have a cover here. This cover says engine oil on it. And then your other cover that's right here says oil filter. So, in that hole. See if I can't turn on the flashlight thing. There's your oil filter. It's already reached up there, already kind of popped it free. So once uh, this finishes draining, let's see here if we can't. So I just kind of reach in here. Sometimes you gotta use a tool. I just had it, I just had it loose. Trying to get a different angle here. Anyways, I just kind of get the filter free. Because it's going to do this. It's going to... You're going to get covered in oil a little bit when you free up. Some people use like a little cup. Use like a red Solo cup or whatever. and Various other ways. I don't know if I can... Get it to focus. There it is. But anyway, so I just I need to get some oil on my hands. Kind of is what it is. Kind of let that all drip. And then I wipe everything off with the rag, and then I fill it back up with some 5W20. I'm using some Mobile One extended high mileage because the car has got like 80,000 miles on it now. So I switch it over to high mileage. But uh, I just keep, I just pour it in until it's, and they just keep pulling the dipstick and keep checking it. It's usually like four, four and a half quarts gets it full. But yep, so that's a quick and dirty for doing an oil change on a 2017 Kia Soul. In continuation of doing the oil change, here's the oil. Here's the filter I'm currently using. They come with this pretty cool piece of plastic on there now. Don't know why, but they do. And uh, usually what, I, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fill this. I know it's the um, biggest question all over the internet. To fill or not to fill? I always fill if I can. Just how I've done it. I've been doing it that way for... I've been doing this stuff for like 20 plus years. I always fill them. If I can fill them, I do. If I can't, I can't. Some of them are like, you know, sideways. Can't really feel that. If you got a canister or something on top, obviously you can't really do much there either. But if it's straight up and down like that or slightly sideways, I do fill them. Stick them on. I have done it once where I've just stuck it on there empty and started it and I did. And you can kind of hear, my car, cars are all higher mileage. But you can kind of hear, it sounds like it's struggling for oil for about 5-10 seconds. And then you can hear that it picks up the oil and goes. I don't hear that sound when I fill them. I do, but it's only for like three seconds, maybe. Versus five, ten seconds, you're like, come on, let's go build up oil pressure. So I just wanted to continue that part. And throw that in there. 